Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you guys today how to make these chunky tags. I'm sure there's a name for these, but that is what I call them because that's what they look like to me. So, um, I'm gonna show you how to make these. I also made a smaller chunky tag and Really, all you need is some scrapbook paper, uh, a hole punch, some scissors, and whatever you like that's, you know, pretty. You can cut out some flowers or just use some little scrap pieces of paper or, you know, just whatever you like. So, let's get started on these chunky tags. These are some of the tags that I made. And I just used regular scrapbook paper. You can use two-sided paper, but I would recommend um, using, if you're gonna use scrapbook paper and it's not like heavy cardstock, you need to use like double the paper. So you can make it two-sided. I don't think my scrapbook paper was two-sided, so I wanted to make both sides look different, and that's what I did. And these are the small ones, and now I'll show you how to make them. So they're different on both sides. So here we go. Before I start, I keep saying we're gonna start, but before I start, I wanna show you the paper pad that I used. This pad has some really, really gorgeous papers in it. And I got this a while back at Hobby Lobby on clearance, but this one is called um, In Bloom. It's called In Bloom, and I wanna show you the papers and how beautiful these papers are. So this one is like a, a mint green with some, it's got a lot of foiling on it, but like the roses are foiled or whatever flowers these are, they're foiled. It has like a mint green background with polka dots and some pretty flowers. I'm gonna do this quickly so we can get into our craft. But this has like foiling on it and it's like a almost a rose gold color. This is like the old um, shiplap kind of um, wood with pink and green flowers, uh, green leaves, pink flowers. These are different shades of green leaves. And some pink and rose gold, some black and white. So you get my gist. It's really beautiful flowers and beautiful prints in here. I just wanted to share these, some of these with you before we get started. So, all of the chunky tags that I made, I use this paper pad. And so, so yeah, so you get the picture. But, yeah. So, let me get my scrapbook paper. And like I said, you just need two sheets to start. And I'm gonna measure these out. They are three and a half inches across and like almost seven and a half inches length. And so I have two pieces of scrapbook paper. This is what I've chosen to do with, uh, chosen for this tag. And I'm going to try, oh, sorry. I'm gonna try using my um, paper cutter. And I don't know how this is going to work. It's got glue and everything else on it. And I have already drawn lines three and a half inches across just so that we have the correct measurement. I'm going to 
gonna stick my paper in here. It just cuts down on time. I'm gonna stick my paper in and I'm gonna line it up with my paper cutter. Okay. And then we are going to cut our strips. So these are three and a half inches across. I'm gonna lay that to the side. And we're gonna keep cutting. We'll do another one that's three and a half inches. I tell you, this thing sure beats using scissors sometimes. If only we can get these to fussy cut flowers, that would be nice, right? So this one's three and a half across by 12 up and down length. We have these, I'm gonna sit these to the side. And then I had like a piece of scrap paper that I have already used before, but I can still use it. And I think my lines are crooked, but that's okay. We know approximately how, how wide three and a half inches is. My line is off, but of course the paper cutter should be able to cut straight, even when I don't have a, oh, perfect. All right, the next line, ooh, that was really off, wasn't it? And let's do one more. As long as we start off right, it will show us the rest of the way. So, here we go. So. Three and a half inches across is what we want. All right, so we have these strips. This will be the front, this will be the back. We're gonna do the same for this one. We might as well just do two, right? So, we're gonna get our glue. And we're gonna glue along the edges. And we're gonna glue down the center. And when we're done with that, you're gonna flip one of the strips on one side and we're gonna glue one side to the other. And it's okay if they're not the same because if we have some that's hanging off of the edge, we can always just cut it. See, I have a whole strip right here that, a piece that goes over the edge. So my measuring was a little bit off well, I know my lines were off, so that's okay. All we have to do is get our trusty scissors and just cut that edge off. And everything's just fine, All right? We learn from our mistakes. All right, so we have two sides. We're gonna sit that to the side and we're gonna go ahead and glue the next one. There is a reason I'm doing um, two at once so that I can show you. I'm hoping that I'm still in frame. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna glue this side down and we're gonna glue down the middle. And I am using tacky glue for anyone who's wondering what kind of glue this is. And I'm gonna glue this down and line up the edges. So I wasn't off too bad on this one. All right, I'm gonna take my ruler, kind of smooth it down 
So I was only off by a tiny little bit, which is fine. That's what scissors are for. So we're going to cut that tiny strip of paper off the side and a little off the bottom. Perfect. Now that's done. Now you can let this dry, but we don't have time to let it dry right now. So <laughs> we're gonna keep going. Um, now I told you that these are seven, did I say seven and a half? I think seven and a half. Hmm. Yeah, like seven and a half. Ooh. Almost seven and a half by three and a half. So you can just measure down seven and a half. Use your ruler and measure down seven and a half and make a little line. Just because I have one available already, I'm just gonna measure seven and a half. And then the same for this one. Oh, there we go, seven and a half. So now that that's done, I'm going to get my scissors. Actually, I'm gonna use my paper cutter again, just so that I have um, straight lines. You can just take a um, pencil and go like just put your mark and make your line across. That's probably easy but I'm just used to doing this now. So, so I have a seven and a half piece. I can't see my line right now. So I'm just going to cheat a little bit and line this up here. And then, so we have seven and a half, seven and a half tag. All right, our next step. Do you see where we're going here? Here's our seven and a half tag. And then we have extra pieces so let's guess this is gonna be our other tag, right? Now my first one, I just eyeballed it as far as the sides. But um, since I have my own template here, I can kind of um, just use that. So pr you're pretty much gonna eyeball it. And whatever, well, however you make the first side, you cut that piece off Cut that corner off, and then you take the same corner and you line it up with your other corner. You just put that on the other corner. And then you cut that corner as well. That's one way to get a even side or close to even side. I'm a little off, but it's okay. All right, that's one way to get a kind of even side. That's how I kind of did it the first time. And then you need to eyeball your punch that goes right in the middle. And there's your tag. Um, I also, had some hole enforcers here. I'm not sure where I put them. But anyway, yeah, so this is your two-sided tag. And I could actually cut a little bit off the edge of this one. So how are you guys doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. I'm okay over here. Enjoying my time crafting. 
as I'm sure you guys are. All right, for this one, pretty much the same thing. You just, after your first tag, you can just use your, your, um, you can use that tag for a template. And this stuff is pretty much eyeballed. And so you have your mini chunky tag that looks like that. And so that's the first step in making chunky tags. And what I'm gonna do next, on my next video, we are going to decorate and embellish these. So I'm gonna Set out some more examples of ones that I made earlier so that you can see them but yeah these are a lot of fun to make and they're easy to make and I would suggest when you make uh, a couple always keep a template of your tags and that way you don't have to remember what were the measurements for that tag when you get ready to make another one? So always keep your measurements. Just keep a template so that you always have the measurements. And that's a way to use up a lot of your scrapbook paper as well. If you're trying to, if you have a lot of scrapbook paper and you're like, what am I going to use this paper for? This is a really good way to stock up on your, you know, your pieces that you use for your journal. You want to make a lot of different pieces so that you always have um, things to pull from. So if you want to, um, if you want to make your stash larger, this is a good way to do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, um, I would like for you to comment. You know just say hello or tell me something that you liked or something that you'd be interested in I'd love to hear from you if you are new here thank you so much for watching and I would love for you to, to subscribe to this channel if you are a subscriber already thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching and thank you for always um, being so kind and um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys watch the next one when I um, embellish these chunky tags. Thank you so much for watching, and we will talk soon. Have a great day. Bye.